Okay, so we have an Epson XP440, and this is bought from Staples for $50, and we're going to modify it to accept edible uh, paper. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do the modification by taking out the, uh, the rollers that are in here that affect the uh, edible print. So if you leave those in there and you print the edible, you're going to see marks on the paper. So by removing those, um, you avoid that happening. But what we're going to do different here to what um, DecoPack does is we're going to leave the last two rollers in place to help pull the paper out so you don't get that uh, blurred printing at the very end. So we're gonna go ahead and take out the, uh, the screws to take out this, this plate over here. There's two screws first, there's one at the end here. You can pull this now if you want and then. Okay, so one screw. One screw. And the other screw is right there. So once you take out the two screws, this plate over here is what we have to remove. So we're gonna do, it's a bit, it's, a, it's not a struggle, but it, we just have to work with it because it has a bit of a, so it comes out like that. This comes out, you can see how it, it uses that to hook in place. So it's like hinged. It's hinged. Now there's another screw, if you can see that, that has to come out to take out the sensor over here. Okay, so that's a much smaller screw, so you can identify it. And then what we do is we take this out, and it, it's, it's stuck on there a little bit, just peel it off slowly. And then when you get to the end, we're just gonna try to hold it back in place with the, with the tape. And now what happens is this will come out. So this is the roller that you've taken out. And we're gonna pop out these little wheels. And there's more wheels. You can see these, these ones too. We're gonna to pop out these ones as well. We're gonna leave this one and this one. We're gonna leave this one and we're gonna leave this one. Very easy to pop out. All you do, um, you need a little screwdriver just to kind of help pop it out. You just push it out, but I'm gonna use the end of this. So that pops. They're just a little spring-loaded, so it, it'll come off easily. I'm gonna leave that one, and I'll leave this one. Now for the middle ones, you can see them back here. You can just kinda yank them out, but I think you're better off getting a flat head and then that's it. So like using a little flat head screwdriver? Yeah, that, you just gotta pop it out of the better system but it's in my pocket right now all right yes, you got them all out yeah so I've just so left these these two um, that so helps two owners yeah that helps pull the paper through so you don't get that uh, that end part that doesn't come out as clean and that's it, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, put it together again. So, you just gotta make sure it goes underneath this metal part here, under that, so you don't, um, and, you okay, just, yeah. and you gotta line it up. I need a line, but that's okay. You might wanna take a picture before you dismantle it, just to, just gonna make, make sure, sure yeah, the holes have to fit in place. So before I go ahead and put the other part, I'm just gonna put this part in. So I can feels like I need reading glasses. Okay, so I'm put the sensor back. Just kind of put it back the way you had it. 
it's always good to take a picture beforehand because you want to make sure you're um... and that's the small screw that holds the sensor so there's three screws in total and we're using a number one Phillips Okay. All right. So we're going to put this one back in and basically the way it's going to go in is we're going to place it in carefully like this and then slide it into its place and then the screw goes in the last screw. So. That's probably the hardest part is that and now you know this is good yeah it's in place that's it that's it we're ready to go okay so that was the xp 440 and then that's what you for get. the ink you're going to be purchasing the xp 430 from um lnm from lnm or deco pack because yeah. they don't have the uh 440 but the 430 the xp 430 and the XP440 uses the same ink. So when you order it, order the 430 for the 440. And then this is what you have left over of your little wheels. You really don't need them. All yeah. right. And that's the conclusion. And then this is just plug and play, right? That's it, you don't so, have to do anything. So you just plug and play, put your edible uh, paper, edible ink inside, and then you're, you're good to go.